Hello everyone, my name is Decker Link, the Trained Out Professional, welcome back to Extracurricular Activities. Today's date day, so we're gonna get on with it, shall we? Okay, let's go. Snores! <laughs> Quality sound effects here. Hmm, he's been snoring so loudly. Even with his back to me, it's making it difficult to sleep any longer. Top that with how much heat he's putting out under the blanket. Um, it's still kinda early in the morning, too. And he said he wanted to sleep in today. Hmm, what to do? I could surprise him with breakfast, though. I bet he'd like that. I just have to roll out of bed without waking him. Hey, there's us. There's us. And look at him. He's a giant lump, and he didn't even budge when I got up. He's not even going to realize I've gotten up. I wonder if his nose will get him going. Let's see what he has in here to cook for breakfast. He took a minute and looked through the refrigerator and pantry to see what he had to cook. Oh, look at the fucking co the, the cookie jar. It's a bear holding a cookie. That's adorable. Eggs, toast, and grits for breakfast, it looks like. I wonder how he likes his, his grits. Uh, sugar and butter, a cheese, and salt. Yeah, okay, Let, let's go with sugar and butter. They pointed out in the chat that he likes his sweets. I like them with sugar and butter. Let's see how he likes that. All right, time to start cooking. I don't think it'll take too long to make, but I hope I can get it done before he wakes up. <clears throat> All right, it's just about done. It doesn't seem like Harold has woken up while I've been in here either. Let me just add the sugar and butter to the grits. I'll go get him out of bed. You added the remaining ingredients to the grits, stirred it up, and set it aside so you could go wake up your bear. All right, time to wake up, Harry. Harry's already awake. <laughs> oh, Jesus. You glanced over your shoulder as Harold stepped towards you, wrapping his arms around your waist, placing his chin on your shoulder. Ah, oh, good morning, Harold. I was about to come get you. The smell of food woke me up. Looks like you had a busy morning. I wanted to surprise you with breakfast. I hope I didn't wake you up too early. Nah, I had plenty of sleep. We got a few more hours than what I'd normal, normal get. So it's been nice. I could have slept for several more had I not smelled this amazing scent, though. You'd hibernate all day if I let you, huh? That's my computer. I could, but today isn't the day for that. We have a fun day planned. Mm-hmm. So what'd you make in here? I see grits and scrambled eggs. And there's a plate of toast, too. <laughs> Looks like a great way to start off the day. Thanks so much for doing this, love. It's been so long since I've had grits, I can't believe you found those in the pantry. What'd you add to them? Butter and sugar. Ooh, my favorite thing to add. I love sweet grits. It's how my grandmother always made them. Good call, chat. Good job, guys. Well, if you get us some plates, we can eat. Perfect. My stomach is growling just looking at it. I'm generally a hungry bear when I wake up. He pulled out a couple of plates and handed them to you for you to prepare, sitting them down at the table after you told him to. You divvied up the food, making sure Harold got a much larger portion, and placed the plate down in front of him as you joined him at the table. Mmm, there's, there's a lot of food here. Thank you for making breakfast for me. This is such a sweet surprise. You're welcome. I wanted to do something nice for you today, and I thought this would be a great way to start the day. Couldn't agree with you more. He scarfed down his food quickly, finishing it off with a deep, rumbling belch. Where have we heard those before? You didn't take long to eat your food, either. The one time I could burp and it would actually make sense. Can't do it on cue. That's as best as I got. Burp. Ah, that was some really good food. It was a perfect thing to wake up to. Thank you again for doing this for me. Of course, you deserve it considering how long this week has been and how long how much you've done for me. And you have so much planned for today, I'm really excited about tonight. Good, I'm really excited about it too. I can't wait to be at the theater. It's been so long. First though, I'll clean up in here. If you want to go just sit in there and chat with me. If you want to, if you want to just sit in here, I should say, and chat with me. Harold gathered the empty plates and kissed you the side of your head before moving to the sink. So what's the plan for the afternoon? You wanted to swim, didn't you? Yeah, I did, but have you seen the weather yet? No, I haven't even noticed it. It's really cloudy. I think it might start raining. Oh, that's a bummer. 
I was looking forward to skinny dipping with you since you don't have a swimsuit. <laughs> you're in a po you're 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 not like surrounded. You're not, I've seen the backyard. The fence is pretty short. I don't know. <laughs> you have a swimsuit though. You wouldn't have to be naked. <laughs> like I would let you enjoy a nude swim on your own. It's been a while since I have even did that, and it's always fun since I have a secluded pool. In such a secluded pool. Well, I guess the new background for the backyard has been different, man. <laughs> then one day we'll have to give it a shot. I guess we can talk some more about L and L if you like. Oh, we can even create characters now and just can verify them tomorrow. Should we really do that without them? Creating a character can take a lot of time, and if he has two or less people to help out, the better. I could even help the other guys, and maybe we could dive into the game tomorrow. Okay, then I'll take your word for it. Sounds like fun. Creating a character is tons of fun. There's so much to do. I love my books in the living room, so you can go look through them, and I'll print out a couple of character sheets for us. Look at the back for the character creation. It'll list some classes and stuff like that. Alrighty, I'll, I'll take a look. You made yourself comfortable on the couch and found the book he had told you to look through. You flipped through a few pages, reading over the information you could before Hell dropped down beside you. Alright, I have a few character sheets, some pencils, and here are the dice we'll need for rolling stats. Any idea what kind of class you might want to play? I have no idea. There's a lot to look through. I plan on playing a wizard, and I'm, and I'm really familiar with that, so it'll be easy for me to set up. I'll give you some recommendations on classes if you want. Just let me know and I'll tell you what I can. Okay, what about... Oh, we gotta go through all of them? Jesus. Okay, fighter. What about the fighter? This is actually informational because... I'm a DM, but I've never actually played... I played, like, one session of actual D&D, &D, and... The majority of it was us f trying to figure out what we were gonna do for dinner, and then playing, sort of. We didn't even get through one dungeon, and then we left to get dinner, and then we just played video games the rest of the night. Like, it was... It was weird, now that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> You're a wizard, Harry. <laughs> oh, that's funny, that's funny, that's funny, that's funny. That's funny right there. What about the fighter? The fighter is a well-rounded character. He could be a master of all types of different combat styles and wield a variety of different weapons and armors. There are all sorts of well-known fighters in the universe, from elite guards to money-hungry mercenaries. Fighters are highly diverse and can be anywhere on the alignment spectrum. Depending on how you build them, uh, you can even move towards using magic and help augment your skills and weapons. There are a lot of opinions, options with the fighter. God damn, I need my glasses. Where the fuck are they? <laughs> I suppose he'd be a close range character. Generally, yeah. You can do archery and use weapons like throwing spears for ranged attacks, but you might not be as good at that unless you're build, you build your character for it. Fighter is a great class overall. Gotcha. How about the cleric? Are clerics fun to play? They can be. Clerics are generally heavy, heavily armored healers in this universe. They use some magic, prayers, and chants to help heal and bolster their enemies. They're allies. Fuck. The glasses aren't doing anything. I'm just shit. <laughs> Bolster their allies. Fuck. They can also hinder and damage their enemies on top of that. See, the words were close to each other, so I just... Whatever. They can invoke hope or fear on the battlefield. So, do they depend on magic for everything? Oh no, they typically wield shields and hammers, smashing in the faces of their enemies while protecting their allies. You'll often find them on the front lines. Something else to keep in mind is that clerics are also very religious, typically. You choose a deity to follow, and that'll also help determine how strong you are. What if I want to be a godless heathen? You can be, but then I don't suggest playing a cleric. Unless you, while you'll be handicapping yourself. I see. What about the Druid? Druids seem like an interesting class. Druids are a lot of fun to play, too. The powers of nature are at their fingertips, be it plant or animal. You can summon a wave of entangling roots from the ground, a healing mist from the moisture in the air, or call for a horde of angry squirrels to attack. A horde of squirrels? That doesn't sound very threatening. Just imagine hundreds of squirrels biting and attacking you, and tell me that doesn't sound threatening. 
all the little teeth and claws gnawing and clawing at your flesh. And if you're lucky enough to survive, what kind of diseases they can did they infect you with? Okay, that sounds worse. Something else that's cool about them is that they can get an animal companion to join them. And can even shapeshift into animals. Like a bear. <laughs> if you choose that, yeah. Druids are all about preserving nature and the balance of the elements of the world. Embracing that which is natural and rejecting that which is not. Okay. I'll ask about the ranger. Rangers are basically archers, aren't they? Well, archery is a big part of the ranger kit. A ranger could put an arrow through the eye socket of a charging orc from 300 meters away right before he slams into your healer. Rangers excel in archery and survival techniques, and they are generally high, highly perceptive, too. They are master hunters, able to track even the smallest creature, even through the vast wilderness. In fact, they are so in touch with nature, they've learned to harness the magic of the wilds to assist them. What kind of magic? I wouldn't expect that. It's mostly magic to help them remain stealthy and speed up the mission they're on. It's nothing fancy like what I would cast as a wizard, but it's still really helpful. He could use the brush from the surrounding forest to obscure the sight of his foes to ambush them or protect the team. They're a really handy member of the team. Cool. Well, I want to know about the sorcerer. I am the sorcerer. I'll never let you go, but I'll brief you on my true history since you'd like to know. I'm from a family of oracles of fifth generation. I frequently listen to apparition conversations. I'm skilled in levitation and spirit communication, but my specialty is destruction and dream interpretation. How does a sorcerer differ from a wizard? <laughs> Wizards have to practice and study learn magic, where sorcerers practice with inane, innate magic, gifted from birth with the with, uh, the with ability to wield magic. Yeah. As a sorcerer, you are born able to wield magic, and you are always able to cast your spells. They are able to manipulate their innate magics to better suit suit their needs, even sculpting them into what they want to inc uh, what uh, increase their destructive capabilities. For example, maybe I can cast a fireball spell, but a sorcerer that could cast the same spell might make a bigger fireball that has a bigger explosion upon impact. So I could be more powerful magic user than you. It's possible if your rolls are high enough. It's just really unlikely that you'll end up being more powerful than me. I know how to build a pretty beastly wizard. Drew, you do have more experience than I do. Okay, then. I need to know about... That's all of them finished. Actually, I think I'm good here. I think I'm good for now. Okay, does that mean you know what class you want to play? Well, shouldn't we wait to see what everyone else wants to play so we can make a balanced party? We don't have to make a balanced party. Everyone should just have fun. So I think you should play whatever character you want. Knowing the guys, I think we'll have a tank and someone to do damage. Uh, my only concern is if everyone will play a class I can heal or not. If anyone will play a class I can heal or not. We have ways outside of magic to keep our hit points up, but having a healer makes things easier. Oh, okay. Well, I guess it makes sense then. I guess I should decide what kind of class I want to play the first then. Yep. Uh. There's so many choices, which one should I go with? A lot of people said Cleric, and honestly, like, it's tempting to try to outplay Herald, but I got a feeling this game won't let us do that, so I'm gonna go with Cleric. I think a Cleric would be a good choice for me. I can defend the team and heal whatever's needed. <laughs> I think a Cleric suits you perfectly, since you've come to my, my aid so many times. We don't have to worry about someone else not picking a healer either, so that's a great choice. I'm really excited about getting started with this now. I hope all the guys are going to show up. Even Darius? Even Darius! I think it'll be fun with everyone. Uh, it's good to hear you say that. If everyone plays, the size of the party will be perfect for a really great adventure. I'll go ahead and shoot Chester a text and see if he's got in touch with Darius and Spencer about playing. <laughs> that's a good idea. So we'll know how many people to expect over here tomorrow. He sent Chester a short uh, text and then turned your attention back to Harold and your character sheet. So what should I do next? Next are special sets of perks we can choose from. The sets give you certain stat boosts and a couple of special skills too. You'll want to read through them and decide which set you want to go with. Being a cleric, wisdom will be your primary stat. I think one I think one even provides you with a skill that allows you to double cast a healing spell that will save someone's life. 
That sounds useful. It could be. Be sure to read over everything, though, and think about how you're going to play either, your cleric. Now, read through the perks, and we'll get your stats set up after you pick what the pack you want. Okay. It seemed like no time at all, but a couple hours passed while you were sitting on the couch with Harold, creating a character for tomorrow's game. I think our characters are done. I would never have thought there was so much that goes into making a character. There is so much customization you can go with. The ways you can make your character is just limitless. Even my wizard is set up slightly different than ways I've built him in the past. I can't wait to start playing tomorrow. Did Chester ever text you back? Oh yeah, he did. He said, everyone will be here, it looks like. Really? That's great! I didn't even, I really didn't expect Darius to show up, so I wonder what Dare Chester did to convince him to come. I'm sure we'll find out tomorrow. <coughs> I guess I should get some extra snacks and drinks for everyone. I want to make sure we're prepared. We could do that on the way, our way to see Maria. While we're all dressed up? Sure, it's just a quick trip to the store to grab a few things. Or we could carry our clothes with us and just change at the shelter. That sounds like a better idea, actually. I don't want to risk anything happening. Then we'll take our clothes with us to the shelter and stop by the, uh, the store on the way there to grab some snacks for tomorrow. We should leave in a couple hours, then. For now, how about we get something for lunch? Bear's belly is growling and he needs food. Good idea. I'm getting hungry again, too. Harold made a quick and easy lunch of sandwiches, and then you return to the living room. Now that we've had lunch, let's relax for a little bit, and clean up and get ready to leave for the evening. Is there anything that you'd like to do for the next little bit? Nothing I can think of. Can we just cuddle on the couch? I'm a huge fan of that idea. He pulled you down onto the couch beside him, where he could have his arms around you with your back against part of his stomach. How's this? Your belly is so soft, it's perfect to lay against. <laughs> good. You can find something to watch on TV, and we'll just relax and talk until we need to get ready. I'm good with that. You flipped through the TV stations until you found something suitable to watch. In the meantime, Harold's paws were rubbing up and down your arms and shoulders, squeezing them while he did. With a content, content sigh, you leaned heavily against him. Does this feel good? I'm not being too rough, am I? Mm, yeah, it feels good. Okay, if it bothers you, just let me know and I'll stop. I don't think it'll be an issue. I'm really content with this. He nuzzled against the side of your head with a reverberating rumble. Are there any shows that you really like to watch? Not really. I don't watch much TV. I generally turn it on with the, for the noise when my mood tanks and I just lay here on the couch. I'd ra much rather spend my free time writing or reading a book. I feel a lot more motivated to do that lately. Oh yeah? Well that's a much better use of your time. I'd like to think so too. What do you like to do in your free time? Me? I like to play games, watch TV, or read. If we're answering for us, like me specifically, out of those three, it would be playing games because I stream a lot. Um, a lot. Fucking once, maybe twice a week. <laughs> like, that's not a lot. Uh, of course, I also play visual novels, which is reading. And he would like us to say read, I imagine. So, my vote is read. I enjoy, I do enjoy reading too. It's a great way to spend my free time. And I've really enjoyed what I've read in your book so far, too. I need to read more of it. Yeah? Well, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Once you finish it, you'll have to tell me what you really liked or didn't like, so I can use that in the sequel. I really would love to hear what you have to say about it. Definitely! I'd be more than happy to help. His paw stopped rubbing your shoulders, and he settled, settled with his arms around your waist. His paws clasped over your stomach! He hugged you close to him and nuzzled him to your head again. For the next little bit, he continued to nuzzle against you with his paw, rub his paws around your stomach and chest. <laughs> Just a giant cuddly bear, aren't you? It, it's not bothering you, is it? Not at all! You're being really affectionate, and it's nice. But it made me hard as a rock. I can't really adjust myself, either. Are you sure it isn't bothering you? One of his paws moved down from your stomach, and you felt his fingers lightly squeeze the head of your hot cork in your shorts! It, it's not bothering me. Just got a little excited from being so close to you. It happens fairly easily. Mm-hmm, I can tell. I have a perfect view of it from here. His fingers massaged over the triple bowl and slid down over the 
wow of it slowly and making it tense up and hold your breath. Can't say that I'm not having the same kind of reaction right now either. You moved your arm back enough to feel what you could only assume to be his brunner running along the leg of his shorts. <laughs> See? You've gotten this old bear's blood pumping. His paw gripped your cork and gave it a tug, growling into your ear when he did. You squirmed around while he pulled back and forth on your meat! On your meat! Ah, oh, Jesus. Hi, hey, strawberry milk. What a time to show up. <laughs> we don't have time to do anything about this right now, though, so this will be the most you get for the time being. <laughs> you're, you're in a big tease, Harry. I wasn't expecting that right now. Your <laughs> fingers traced around your tinted shorts, lightly grazing against you. You like it when I tease your hot stuff? Um, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it's a really new experience for me. You like your hairy teasing your meat like this. He kissed your neck, growling and sending pleasant vibrations through your body as he became slightly more aggressive with his groping. Mumph! <laughs> His growls and kissing continued, moving over your neck, shoulders, and ears. You could feel a wet spot on your underwear, and his large paw kept rubbing over your crutch. Eventually, his paw strayed from between your legs and returned to your stomach, and you could hear his heavy breathing as he rested his chin on top of your head. I think it's time for a shower. We should really get, get start getting ready to leave. Oh, you, yeah, you're right. I'll try not to take forever. You can always read more of these L and L books while you wait for me. Sounds like a good idea. I have more to learn, so that'll be fine. Hard left. <laughs> Don't even think about jacking off in the shower either. You got it. I I had no intention on doing that anyway. Mm -hmm, you say so. He chuckled, leaving you standing there, but not before giving you a crunch and at the squeeze when they walked past you. Yum yum. Why, why would he even say that? Jeez. Oh, wow. I can see the updated... Uh, this background is updated. There's, like, tacks in the wall where the pictures used to be. Jesus. I had no idea he could be such a tease. I did really get riled up. I'll get him back for that later. Alright, so I haven't done this in a while, but I think we're going to do the second half of Date Day on the next episode. Because we have dinner and the theater to get to, and we're already at 40 minutes on this recording. So, as for right now, I'm going to take a bit of a pause here. But until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I have been the trained-up professional. Speaking for the voices in my head when I say, fare thee well. Bye, everyone!